out with an inside look at the four-time Grammy-winning band Green Day. Earlier this month, the trio released their 14th studio album, Saviors, and are set to tour this summer. ABC's Phil Lipoff caught up with the Rock and Roll Hall of Famers for this prime playlist, hearing firsthand what's changed in their more than 30 years together. Welcome to my problems. It's not an invitation. This is my dilemma. And it's my obsession. It's the dawn of a new day for these punk rock legends with a storied career. Everything for us starts with the music. Billy Joe Armstrong, Mike Durnt, and Trey Cool, better known as Green Day, dropped their 14th studio album, Saviors, featuring singles like Dilemma and The American Dream is Killing Me. The album elevated, mature, and lined with political commentary, staying true to their roots. We wanted to make like just something that was just like straight, more of a punk rock record like the way that we've done in the past. So there's songs like Look, Look Ma No Brains. I said, Look, Mom, I ain't got no brains. Mama got it, there's also, you know, we, it's like there's a stadium kind of thing that we want to do. Those stadium anthems like 21 Guns. Fueling a long-awaited tour as the band hits the road this summer. On the Saviors tour, we're going to play American Idiot and Dookie in, its, in their entirety. For fans, a momentous moment, melding the old with the new for one massive experience. It's, it's hard to describe. Like Playing all those songs together and the, knowing, like, oh, damn, we just played that record. Let's play another record. Who knows if this, when and ever this is going to happen again. It's really, really rare. Over our... The span of our career, we've um, managed to not really like paint ourselves into a corner musically. There's, you know, influences from all all sorts of places, different sounds. This new chapter, just the next step in a legendary career, as the band also celebrates the 20th anniversary of American Idiot. We get just as much excitement out of playing she or Basket Case or any of the new songs off of Saviors. So with over 150 years of rock and roll experience combined. All on the heels of the 30th anniversary of their breakthrough album, Dookie. The new album echoing familiar tones of fan favorites. What it is is the difference between back in American Idiot is like watching cable news and then now watching social media 20 years later. And that's sort of where all of the, the chaos of the lyrics kind of comes from. Decades later, the trio now celebrating the music, the journey, and the fans. It's great to, to finally stop and look back and celebrate these records. I, I, I think we did a good job of capturing where we were and keeping it timeless. We always want to capture like what the three of us sound like in its maximum form. But it's also important that we can be everybody's band, not just from Dookie and American Idiot right now. Wow, and they have kept it timeless. Yeah, mm -hmm. our thanks to Phil LaFaw for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.